Tonight on my sense, my thoughts are on, the, are on the role of a citizen in their nation. On many occasions, the word public participation has dominated many conversations. Multiple court rulings and judgments have been issued, some nullifying laws on account of lack of public participation. And yes, the judiciary has stood with the sovereignty of the people when they most needed it. But have you spared a moment and thought, how much did you know of those laws before they were declared unconstitutional? When the Court of Appeal found Finance Act of 2023 unconstitutional, how much details of the law had you consumed? You might argue that for the lack of public participation, you didn't know as much. But it was enacted and implemented in May 2023. It has been impacting on your pocket since July 2023. In July 2024, the High Court found three health laws unconstitutional, declaring them null and void. These laws are the basis of the current transition from the National Hospital Insurance Fund to the Social Health Authority with its three funds. Three laws with drastic implication on the lives of Kenyans. Three laws that will greatly impact on the amount of disposable income you will have from the end of October. Three laws that the government describes as the road to universal health coverage. Early in the year, the Ministry of Health introduced health insurance packages. Some Kenyans read, some didn't. Some shared feedback, some didn't. The government in its own way conducted public participation brought together selected Kenyans in different halls in what was said to be listening to their views. Well, much of these sessions ended up being moments for the government officials to highlight what they thought participants needed to hear. So, what did you hear? What did you read? What did you understand? What questions did you ask? What did you do with the answers? Those packages are becoming effective next week on Tuesday, but they have been altered with far-reaching consequences. You see, if public participation must meet the threshold that has so far been set by different courts, that of being meaningful and effective, I would suggest that, that citizens too must do their part in being active participants in shaping the country's destiny. Yes, Leaders, and especially Parliament, has a role in undertaking sensitization, adequate, reasonable, sufficient, and inclusive public participation on bills and policies. So please, stop saying, I no longer watch news because it's distressing. Stop saying that I would rather watch my favorite video streaming service. Well, you may, but as you do, please pay some attention. Listen to the political leaders when they speak. Then go read what they are introducing or passing in parliament. If you choose not to, please note, a lot is happening and will still happen with serious implication on your life. When it does, what will you tell people? What will be your story? What will be your excuse? And that is my sense tonight.